Phonics Group. Welcome back. Today we're going to run through our sounds and then we're going to look at the sound that we started with yesterday and we're going to do some reading, okay? You will need a piece of paper and a pencil today, so take a minute to go and get those first. You can pause the video if you need to. Brilliant. Right, let's run through our sounds together. Okay, I'm going to say them. Can you say them at home? One of our digraphs. E. E. One of our trigraphs. I. I. J. Mm. W. This digraph makes the same sound. Z. Brilliant. And who can remember which sound we were learning yesterday? Have a little think. That's right, it's O. Okay, and our action for the O sound is O, oh, as if you were surprised, O, oh. okay? And to make the O sound, we have an O oh and an A ah together, and this is another one of our digraphs, two letters that make one sound. So, to warm ourselves up a little bit, I have got our dinosaur eggs from yesterday, and I am going to hold them up and see if at home you can have a go at robot talking them and reading them, and then I'll do them with you. Have a look. Can you robot talk it? R A D raid. R A D raid. Well done. Another word with our A sound in it. Have a go by yourself first. Can you robot talk it? A N pain. Ooh, this one rhymes. It's got the same sound. R A Rain. Oh, I wonder if you can spot what's special about this word. Have a think. This word has got our new sound in it, our O sound. Cool. O. F. Loaf. Like a loaf of bread. Oh, I can see that sound again. See if you can do this one at home. K. O. T. Coat. Ooh, now this one has got a sound in with three letters. Can you remember what that's called? Well done, it's called a trigraph. Sight, sight. Another one of our O sounds. B, O, T, boat. Here's that I sound again. N, I, T, night. Now this is a tricky one, it's got four sounds in it. See if you can have a go at home, see if you can tell your grown-up. T, O, S, T, Toast. Mm. And last one with our E sound, B, E, P, Beep. So our dinosaur eggs have lots of different words on them with all of our different sounds. And it's got our new O sound on them as well. But today we're going to be doing some reading. And Mac the Mouse has been talking with his dinosaur friends and he has left you some sentences to read and we've got some pictures to match to them. So I need you to close your eyes while Mac and I do something special. So close your eyes. Brilliant, you can open your eyes now and let's see if we can read the sentence together. Now this word you might not have seen before, okay? And this word says dinosaur. It's a tricky word because if you sound it out, it doesn't sound like it's spelt. So this word is dinosaur, one of our word, fair words, with a k o t. Dinosaur with a k o t. A coat. Dinosaur with a coat. Now, I need you to close your eyes again for me. Close your eyes. When you open them, I have got a special job for you. 
Okay, I need your help when you open your eyes to see if you can point to the right picture. So we're going to read the sentence again and see if you can point to the right picture. So, open your eyes. Well done. Right, let's read our sentence. Remember that word that we've learned? Dinosaur with a coat. Coat. Ooh, now have a look at the pictures. See if you can point on my screen. Is it this one? Or this one? Where is the dinosaur in a coat? Yeah, you're right. It's this one. Fantastic. Brilliant. Right, close your eyes again. I'm going to change our sentence. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. I hope nobody's peeking at home. Right, you can open your eyes. I wonder if you can remember that special word that we've learnt when we're reading the sentence together. This is a new sentence. Dinosaur, one of our bear words, has a soak. A soak. What does it mean if you have a soak? Do you know? If you're not sure, ask your grown-up. If you have a soak, you have a bath. So can you see a dinosaur having a bath, having a soak in any of those pictures? See if you can point to it. Yep, you're right, it's this one. Fantastic. Now, let's do one more and then we're going to do a little bit of writing. So, close your eyes again. Last one. Oh, I hope you've still got your eyes closed. No peeking. Okie dokie, you can open your eyes. Our last sentence, okay? Read it along with me at home. Dinosaur, one of our bear words, with a toad. Toad. Dinosaur with a toad. Hmm. I can't see a toad in this picture, but I can see one here. Are you pointing to the right picture? Brilliant, well done. Dinosaur with a toad. Now, as a challenge for you at home today, okay, I'm going to leave a picture on the board. Okay, and I'm going to put the pictures on the website for you as well so that you can see them. But I would like you to write a sentence about one of my pictures and I'm going to show you what I mean. So, let me have a think. I'm looking at my picture and I can see a dinosaur and he's in a boat. So my sentence could be dinosaur in a boat. Right, let's say the sentence together. Are you ready? Dinosaur in a boat. Let's clap the sentence. Dinosaur in a boat. Can you tap it on your knees? Dinosaur in a boat. Tap it on your shoulders. Dinosaur in a boat. Right, before I start writing, what do we need to remember with our sentence? There are three things. We need our finger spaces, capital letters, and full stops. Okay, and that makes our sentence complete. So, our first word, what was it again? Dinosaur in a boat. Dinosaur, right. Now remember, this is a tricky word. It doesn't sound like it's spelt. I'm going to show you how to write. Dinosaur. So you can copy this if you're at home. I'll let you copy that one. Which word do you need next? Can you write it down on your piece of paper? Have a think. Dinosaur in a boat. Dinosaur. Can you write our next word? It's in. Finger space. In. Dinosaur in a boat. Dinosaur in a. Can you write it on your piece of paper? Boat. B Boat. I need my new diagram. Boat. Boat. Have I finished my sentence? Have a look at your sentence. Have we got everything that we need? We've got a capital letter, finger spaces. Oh, have I got a full stop? Have you got a full stop on your piece of paper? 
So now my sentence is finished. Dinosaur in a boat. So I will put these pictures up onto the website for you and at home with a piece of paper and a pencil, maybe you could have a go at writing some different sentences. You don't have to use the word dinosaur. Maybe you could use some of your bare words like look at the dinosaur, it is in a boat. Think about all the different sentences that you could make and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, bye.